I'm here to tell you about an exciting new car from Honda. If ever there were a car that could give compact car buyers everything they want, this is it. The all new 2019 Insight, a luxurious new sedan that happens to be a hybrid. Looks a little like an Accord, and it fits into the Honda lineup between the Civic and Accord. I'll give you a little tour. Let's start up front. It's available in three versions, LX, EX, and Touring. And they all get these fancy LED headlights that automatically know when they should switch from low beam to high beam and back. And the Touring can sense rain, so you don't have to turn the wipers on. It does that for you. Good job. Of course, it looks great from every angle. And there's a ton of storage. Fold the rear seat backs down and you're ready for a cross-country trip. And how nice is it that you don't even have to take the key out to unlock and lock the doors? Unless, of course, you want to start the car before you even get in. To warm it up or cool it off inside. Such a show off. And in cold, wet, or snowy weather, it's nice to know you have heated power side mirrors. Hi, join me inside the new Honda Insight. I have to say, it's impressive. First of all, it seats five people very comfortably. You have your choice of seat colors, black, ivory, or a two-tone black mocha in leather or premium fabric. The Touring has power driver and front passenger seats. The dash has soft padding and real double stitching that a tailor would be jealous of. The audio and system settings are controlled by this big, beautiful touchscreen. Play your favorite music from lots of different sources, send and receive text messages, and customize the display just the way you like it. There's even an available built-in mobile hotspot, so everyone in the car can easily access the internet. What? <laughs> Under the touchscreen are the three-stage front seat heater controls. Warmest, warmer, and warm. Moving down the center console are the electronic gear selector controls and electric parking brake with automatic brake hold features. The automatic brake hold is one of my favorite features. Once turned on, when you brake to a stop, like in heavy traffic, just take your foot off the brake. The car won't move until you touch the accelerator. And there's a large phone tray with USB smartphone ports for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. There's a roomy storage console to put your stuff in. In front of you is a pretty stunning instrument panel that gives you control of lots of features, like choosing the music you want or getting turn-by-turn -turn directions on the Insight Touring. It's called the Driver Information Interface. The controls are on the left side of the steering wheel. Just scroll through the features and choose the one you want to use. You can also customize the order and add or delete features. And there's an app you can get. Of course there is. It's called Honda Link, and it can help you do some pretty cool things. It'll help you find where you parked. On the Touring, you can start the car from wherever you are and activate the climate control. You can even get 24-hour concierge service with a real person to talk to. Need restaurant reservations? Just push the blue button and ask. Let me tell you about some of the safety and driver assistive features built right into every 2019 Insight. It isn't just about a fun, comfortable, luxurious sedan. Collision safety performance is huge thanks to Honda's exclusive ACE body structure and other features. Together, they're expected to help Insight achieve top crash test scores. And every Insight has the Honda sensing safety and driver assistive features, like the collision mitigation braking system, it can help you avoid a collision by alerting you with an audible or visual warning. And it can apply light or strong braking to limit the collision's severity. Or road departure mitigation. It helps keep you from drifting out of your lane and off the road because it uses a camera to detect lane markings. One more thing that's cool is adaptive cruise control with low speed follow. It's designed to maintain a set following interval when it approaches a detected vehicle ahead. It can even stop the car if the car in front of you slows to a stop and then resume moving at your preset speed. Insight has many features to learn about that can make you feel more confident while driving. 
Hi, let me tell you what it's like to drive the all-new 2019 Insight. It's quick and fun, with up to 151 horsepower. And it received an EPA rating of 55 miles per gallon. Did I mention it's a hybrid? I think other compact car makers should be a little nervous. Anyway, Insight isn't just quick. It's smooth and the handling is really refined. And it's really quiet in here too. You won't believe it until you drive it, so you have to drive it. The D position on the shift controls is the normal hybrid driving mode. Then there are three additional drive modes to choose from, Econ, Sport, and EV. The names kind of explain themselves. Sport mode is very fun. And it sounds like a sports car when you give the accelerator a little extra push. There's also an EV mode that will use the electric motor only for short little hops. On the steering wheel, you'll notice these deceleration selectors. We let the engineers name them. Anyway, use them to slow down and help recharge the battery at the same time. Push the minus selector on the left to slow the car with added regenerative braking. There are three levels. Three of these little things indicate the highest level of recharging during braking, while one gives you the least amount. And pulling the plus selector on the right side returns the car to the least amount of recharging while braking. Keep watching the videos posted here to get a bigger picture of what Insight has to offer. And test drives are available at your local Honda dealer.